Well, everyone, it's the season of giving. Can't you feel the love in the air? It's the season where everybody wants to show how much they care about somebody. And I've been doing that since day number one. See, while you all are out there buying gifts, caroling, and preaching on and on and on about how much you care about your fellow man, I'm actually showing it. I'm caring about one man in particular, and that is Mr. Jeff Cannonball. You remember him, right? The fella that you all claim to love so much. That individual that you all said that you adored, that you want to see him reach the top of the mountain. And you know, when Jeff Cannonball needed stitches in his arm, who was with him till 4 o'clock in the morning making sure that he got those stitches and he got home safe and okay and in one piece? It was Jim and Lion, it wasn't you. When Jeff Cannonball broke bones in the wrestling ring, entertaining you fans. Who was there checking up on him days later to make sure that he was okay and that see if he needed anything? It wasn't you, it was me. In fact, think about it. Really think about it. If you truly care about somebody, do you cheer when he's bleeding from his forehead? When he has glass raked across his head? Do you cheer when that man is taking a staple to the tongue? Do you relish when he's screaming out in pain and chant that you want more? You don't. And neither did I. So you people, I told Jeff Cannonball this, were nothing but patronizers. See, why you people claim to love him so much, you were getting off on each and every ounce of suffering he went through. Jeff Cannonball's not going to be your monkey anymore, and I made sure of that. Because on January 2nd, he gets a chance to sing his redemption song, Ha From The Mountains. October 24th, Jeff Cannonball finally heard my words. He stopped out that worthless pig, Connor Claxton. Left him in a pile of his own blood and shame and how glorious it was to finally be there to witness that. But on January 2nd, it goes on and on and on. Because see, ever since October 24th at Masters of the Mat, I've been training Jeff Cannibal. I've been making sure his mind, his body, and his soul are one and ready to the, be the monster that I always knew he could be. Now, while you fans are crying foul, the Connor Claxton got left broken and battered at Masters of the Mat. On January 2nd, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there to lead him into battle, Jeff Cannonball. I'm going to be there to make sure the Connor Claxton doesn't walk out. I'm going to be there to make sure that Jeff Cannonball destroys Connor Claxton. And you know what's so great about it? You know what the best part about it is? Jeff Cannonball is finally going to see his true potential. And it's not going to be because of you. You worthless pieces of garbage that love when he gets hurt. It's going to be because of me. The man who has taken Jeff Cannonball in his loving arms and cradled him and shown him the light. Now, Connor Claxton, while you may think that everything is going good and that these fans love you, you're going to come to realize one day that the only person you can depend on is yourself, or me. You're worthless, Connor Claxton. You have no hope. But on the bright side, you're gonna serve a purpose. See, you're gonna be the martyr for my revolution. Because Jeff Cannonball is gonna run his redemption road right through you. And there's not a damn thing you or anybody in On Point Wrestling is going to do to stop us. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.